Hello everybody. I am Dr. D. Ramesh, Head of Department of Pediatrics and Neonatology, Yashoda Hospitals, Secunderabad branch. I come across a lot of parents with uh, always some queries about newborn jaundice. Some of the commonly asked uh, questions, I will try to tackle them and uh, what exactly is the information I would like to pass on to you. The first very commonly asked question is, what is jaundice in newborns? Newborn jaundice, also called hyperbilirubinemia, is a yellowish discoloration of the skin, very commonly seen on the face and in the eyes. That is the skin of the face and eyes. Second question, what causes jaundice in newborn babies? Jaundice in newborns is generally caused due to a pigment called bilirubin, which is a fat soluble and a polar substance which can get deposited in the skin. This is generally caused because of two factors. Number one, the newborn baby has a bilirubin called fetal hemoglobin and this fetal hemoglobin, the RBCs break down very fast. So the amount of uh, pigment which comes from the excess breakdown of the RBCs is one of the cause. The second cause is this bilirubin has to be metabolized by a enzyme called glucuronal transferase enzyme, UDP glucuronal transferase. This enzyme is produced by the liver of the newborn and as you know the newborn liver is very immature. So this particular uh, UDP glucuronal transferase is not fully produced. So this can also, the metabolism of this uh, uh, broken down products of RBC is not uh, properly done. So this also adds up to the levels of jaundice. Next question. How can I tell if my newborn has jaundice? Jaundice in the newborn, as I told you in the first question, can be seen on the face. But generally, if the jaundice is very mild, like 5 to 7 milligrams per deciliter, we got different levels of jaundice. At 5 to 7, which should not have any problem, we can see in a few places. For example, if the baby is opening the eyes, you can see in the white part of the eye, that is the sclera, the sclera looks a little yellowish much more easier because newborns generally always have their eyes closed if you try to open the eyes by force they will further close the eyes because that's a condition called reflex photophobia so the next good place to look for jaundice in the newborn is slightly pinch the front of the nose and suddenly leave it you can see the tip of the nose looks very yellow if the jaundice levels are above five to seven or you can just press on the nasolabial fold of the cheek you just press like that and leave it you can see the yellow part if the baby is crying or if the uh, baby uh, you can slightly open the mouth of the baby you can see a lowest discoloration of the mucous membrane on the hard palate there also you can see the yellow color but if the jaundice is around 15 or 16 you can see it on the chest and the abdomen the more dangerous levels are if the jaundice levels go about 20 then you can see on the palms and also on the soles then it's an alarming sign you have to immediately rush to the doctor next question is newborn jaundice dangerous or serious yes newborn jaundice can be dangerous or serious if the levels go very high 60 percent of all full-term normal newborns have jaundice 80 percent of preterms that is the babies who are born before 37 weeks or small four days babies that is small babies who are born uh, who, whose birth weight is below 2.5 kg have jaundice but 95 percent of them it is physiological jaundice it disappears on its own and there should not be any problem but if the jaundice levels go above 16 or to 18 in the very small babies that is the preterm babies or if it goes above 18 to 20 in the full-term child sometimes it can become dangerous the jaundice can go across the blood brain barrier into the brain and cause irreversible brain damage how is jaundice treated in newborns as i told you 95 percent of jaundice in the newborn is physiological jaundice and it is self-reduces it may start at around two to three days in the full-term child and disappears by five to seven days and in the preterm child also it starts around two to three days and disappears between 7 to 10 days 
sometimes uh, the upper limit is 14 days this is normal you need not do anything only see that the baby is well fed and well hydrated but if, if the jaundice levels go above 15 uh, whether it's a full term or is saying then the child has to be immediately uh, tackled by the pediatrician and the child may require a phototherapy but if the jaundice goes about 20 or the child is developing a slight signs of any brain damage like fits or anything sometimes a more aggressive treatment called foot uh, exchange blood transmission is done how can jaundice in newborns be prevented or reduced this uh, for example normally there is nothing like prevention of jaundice in a newborn but reduction by giving a looking after the child that the child is well hydrated and does not uh, get exposed to excess heat or any loss of uh, fluid in the early stage of life uh, saying but there are a few cases where you have to be extra careful for example the mother has got any infections during her saying they are called torch infections during a pregnancy these children can go into very high levels of jaundice or the mother is a hypothyroid patient or mother is having very severe sepsis during the last days of pregnancy or the mother has got a history that the first baby whom she had had very high jaundice and had to go to uh, get admitted then you have to be extra careful and the minute the baby is gone the child has to be tested whether there is any RH incompatibility or any ABO incompatibility that is the difference of blood group between the baby and the mother and that requires a proper treatment. So these are some of the common things which you have to keep in mind about jaundice. Thank you so much. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.